Hi everyone, this is Group 5. I'm Jack Chen, a second year MAUD student, cooperates with Pan Pan and Zhihan Mei, who are also in the same program. And our project name is Parametric City Generator. In the rapid urbanization process, urban planners create new urban grids with a set of rules to define their physical form and composition. With famous cases including the cedar blocks in Barcelona and the Manhattan grid representing a rigid block form. Other cities such as Boston and London have more organic block forms. The planning rules define the 3D density of urban blocks as well as the hierarchy of programs including housing, commercial towers, etc. The density of these blocks is affected by the road level. Therefore, we will provide different parameters for different levels of road to affect the volume of building. The goal of this project is to develop a set of tools for urban designers and planners to make prototype of new town planning and a reimagination of city generation with customized road system, street blocks, density, and building form. The first grip takes in the boundary and the primary roads and generates the network. The second one offsets roads from part A. It outputs the block outlines. The third one generates density by weighting the distance from blocks and roads. The last one generates buildings in three patterns based on FAR. It also generates towers for commercial areas. Our final output are the buildings for the whole city. Part A is network generation. There are two division patterns inside this part, centers and borders. The basic idea is to loop over all blocks, divide those larger until no blocks can be divided further. There are two control groups for divisions by secondary and minor roads. The critical values inside each group will change by the distance to primary roads, and the script will modify the shapes of blocks to avoid a strange division. For density, the areas closer to primary roads will be denser in roads and smaller in blocks. To achieve this, each control group has a critical value, a factor baseline for that value, and a distance to determine that factor. Larger critical values means larger block outputs. Larger distance means blocks farther from roads will also be smaller. Larger critical value factor means the blocks closer will be even more smaller than those farther. There are also some parameters for division patterns. For example, the random interval will determine whether the blocks will be divided evenly or not. The function of part B is the generation of city streets and blocks. Users can control the road width of each level according to their needs. We divide the road into primary, secondary, and minor levels. The user can also change the size of each block to offset along the edge to create a sidewalk. This part is density calculation. The basic idea here is to calculate the distance from the block to different roads, classify it by intervals, then weigh the values at the relative density. Even the road's interval starts larger, even the blocks far from the roads will have higher density. The weight determines the influence of the roads in blocks' density. For example, larger weight for primary roads means blocks with highest density will all gather along the primary roads. The second part here is to remap the relative density to FAR. The input of remap index allows the user to change the overall FAR for the whole city. Part D is the city form generation. Urban block form is defined by a set of parameters, including FAR, floor area ratio, and BSR, building space ratio. In this project, the FAR input to each block is divided into three categories. As the FAR input increases, the form of block changes from each category that reflects a different types of building form. The low-density residential block takes form from a single-family houses. As BSR increases, spacing between houses decreases. The local retail and service block is a peripheral block. As BSR increases, the courtyard area decreases. The commercial block is a peripheral block with extruded towers. As BSR increases, the building height decreases. The tower extrusion height facing primary street and secondary street differ. The ratio of allowable extrusion can be manipulated by users. Moving to a city scale, as mentioned in previous steps, the road system generates density that translates into a collective urban form. With the FAR defined by the density map, BSR can be controlled to make form changes in each block category. Users can input lines of primary roads to test and play with city forms with as many iterations as possible that generate it immediately and use the tool to reimagine the urbanization process.